The symptoms of fibroids vary depending upon the size, number, and location of fibroids. When fibroids uh, come into the uterine cavity or come near the uterine cavity, these often can cause heavy bleeding. Um, also, fibroids that face the outside of the uterus, these often more so cause bulk-related symptoms. Also, fibroids are associated with infertility, and that can be a presenting complaint as well. Fibroids are typically diagnosed in the office by your physician um, when they do an examination, and that can be a finding, or otherwise on any type of imaging, such as an ultrasound or an MRI. Fibroids are very common. Um, they are more common in the African American population, and most studies indicate that 70 to 80 percent of women in their 40s will have fibroids. There are a variety of surgical options that are available to manage fibroids depending on the patient's age as well as their symptoms that they're experiencing. These can range from either removing the fibroids by itself, a procedure that's called a myomectomy, or removing the uterus that contains the fibroids, which is called a hysterectomy. Both of these can be performed via different routes, depending upon the size, number, and location of fibroids, but include vaginal routes, a minimally invasive route, laparoscopic or robotic, or open abdominal surgery. There are some non-surgical treatment options for fibroids for patients, depending on their age, as well as their desires for future fertility. One of which is a medication that has been given as a temporary measure to help make the fibroid uterus a little bit smaller and help temporize some of the bleeding. Another option, which is provided by interventional radiologists, can be used to help shrink down the uterus and the fibroids. This is done by either a procedure called uterine artery embolization, which decreases the blood flow to the uterus as well as fibroids specifically, or MR-guided focused ultrasound therapy, which can, which can target fibroids that are located to the front of the uterus. The choice to proceed with surgery for the treatment of fibroids or other non-surgical options is really dependent upon someone's childbearing wishes and um, their own personal wishes in regards to surgery or other more conservative treatment options. Fibroids can come back, especially after performing a procedure called a myomectomy in which the fibroids are just removed. About 50% of women after a myomectomy can have new fibroids within five years, and unfortunately 25% of those women may need another procedure. If you suspect that you have fibroids, I would encourage you to see your provider so they can do the necessary tests for the proper evaluation and determine what's the best course of action for you and send you to whatever specialist that is needed. Here at Johns Hopkins, we have a large group of fellowship trained minimally invasive gynecologic surgeons who can help manage complex cases of fibroids surgically. We also have a multidisciplinary approach with the collaboration between interventional radiologists, our GYN oncologists, pathologists, and reproductive endocrinologists, which allows us to manage complex cases. Mm -hmm.